Hey guys, Tone here, and I was just about to go and unlock my last unlock here um, for carrying five lunar items, and eh, I just figured I'd record it. This one shouldn't be particularly difficult. Um, I just saved it for last because why not? Uh, this guy here killing an elite uh, boss on Monsoon was the one that took me the longest, actually. Um, but I just figured I'd record this one. Um, so my strategy is I'm going to just pick Mercenary and play on uh, Drizzle, just so we don't have any problems with the actual levels. And uh, so basically the five lunar items, you can buy them in the bazaar, which you can get to by activating a portal. Um, you have to use the newt altars to force the portals. Um, there's one down there. There's three newt altars on every level. I'm gonna cost a coin to activate. The items cost two coins each in the level. And there's, what, four items available, but they can be duplicates. Some can be equipment, which are the items that you use with your Q button. I'm not sure if those count as items or not. Um, but either way, you can only carry one of those. Alright, so now that I've activated the new altar, I basically just have to play through this level. I'll probably grab a few items here, in case I have to play through a couple levels. Let's grab whatever is on the ground here, I don't really want to spend too much time on it. There's our blue orb from activating the new altar. I'll kill the beetle queen real quick. Oh, how did I miss her? Got a great time to have a war banner. Oops, don't land in that vomit. The spit is quite deadly. Although perhaps not on Drizzle. You can't do this on Monsoon. Take my word for that. Alright, were there any items about? ATG missile. Will o Wisp, good stuff. And we'll take the portal. You can get Lunar Pods on the levels, which cost one coin to open, they generate randomly. I don't know if every level is guaranteed to have one. That may be the case. Alright, I thought I could make that jump. So what do we have here? So this is the Effigy... Nice. Alright. I was curious... So there's no Transcendence here. Alright. These are all different. That Effigy is Equipment. I'm actually going to get to test, I hope, whether that actually works or not. Oh god, I forgot the effigy makes you slow. So bad. Alright. Oh, I'd even look at what the uh, little cauldron items are there. Oh well. Actually, I wonder if that effigy is going to screw up our mobility to get the next shrine or new altar. Let's we'll find out. Alright, so first we need to find our new altars. What do I have here? I have the brittle crown, which messes with our gold. Um, you gain gold on hit and lose 
gold when getting hit. Um, that's not the way I thought I was. The corpse bloom makes us heal double, but we can only heal a maximum of 10% of our health per second. So all health ends up being drawn out. And the shell there, name of that one, uh, something, gesture of the drowned. Oh, that's what used our Q ability, okay. That halves the time of your use item, your equipment slot, but it also means you automatically use it. Okay, I was just wandering aimlessly for some reason. Um, let's go check for the actual new altar first. I'm just talking and not even paying attention. Okay, so there's one up here. Yeah, there it is. You can also find one on top of one of these pillars. That pillar right there can have one. And there's another one behind one of these doors, and it's like underwater. It's actually pretty well hidden. We may not get any actual gold again. <laughs> we may not get the chance to use any. Let's just go ahead and kill the boss. We should be able to fight him now. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get our fifth item in this next portal. There really is just like a limitation um, to do this based on how many coins you have. Another Beetle Queen, where is she? Ah, there you are. So it's going to take at least 12 coins to do it by going to the bazaar. Because you got to buy at least two portals. Which is one each. And then five items. Which is going to be... Oh my god, there's so many guys here. Five items of the two each, that's going to be another ten. But you're not guaranteed to get it in two visits. So it's good to save up a little bit more than that. Just figure out what your comfort level is for that. And the reason I went with Mercenary here is because he's the only character that can get to all of the new altar locations right from the start of the game. Everyone else has to get um, various mobility items. Right, let's just wait for this teleporter to charge. Enter it? I'm sorry, I thought I hit the button there. It appears I did not. Oh my god, four shaped glass? This is hilarious. Interesting, okay, so yeah, use item equipment does not count for that. It has to be an actual item, which means I have to grab another shaped glass. So I have four items right now and one lunar equipment. So this will be my fifth lunar item. And there we have it, Moon Worshipper. We have five lunar items in a single run. And shaped glass doubles your damage, but it halves your, your health. So we are capped at 77 health right now, which is kind of hilarious. We have over here some bands happiest mask fun stuff well i'm gonna just keep playing this run because it's gonna be insane and hilarious and i'll probably die right away with 77 health um but thanks for watching and uh yeah i just thought that'd be a fun little video and i guess if anyone is curious of how to do this 
this unlock, that's the way to do it. You have to know where all the new altar locations are. I'm sure those are, if you don't know where they are, you can look them up easily enough. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Let's try and put up some more uh, Risk of Rain content. I know not a lot of people are playing on Monsoon, which is what I've been doing a lot of, so I might put up some like Monsoon gameplay videos, because I find that mode to be extremely fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just rambling now, so take it easy, guys.